Hello y'all. Welcome to part 10 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 9 we took back control of southern Spain and a little bit of Portugal, but at the same time we lost control over much of central Spain as well as northern Spain. You see the Third International troops flooded down from France and into Navarra and Catalonia, and now we're just stuck defending Barcelona because we put four divisions there from the army that was stationed in the north. They're just defending that one city, and hopefully they can hold on there. And so let's um, pause and continue our offensive that will hopefully see us retake Madrid and more of Spain so we can get some more factories. We're using, we gotta get so much guns made. At least we're not so much in a deficit anymore, I hope. We are using a lot of them up though. We need more factories on firearms, honestly. Let's get some trade here dealt with. And do we even need some of these resources anymore? No, for the most part. Okay, get rid of this. We don't need rubber anymore, I guess. No more rubber, less steel. Trade for less of that from Flanders Wallonia. Get that sorted out. There we go. Get one more. Hold on, yeah. There we are. Do that and take a lot of this trade off for for aluminum. Just stop trading for as much aluminum we've had. Get rid of this trade with Montenegro. We were using a lot of aluminum, I think, for planes and trains. Well, at least for, I think for planes. Let me see here, for, yeah, for planes and such. But we're not really making any planes now. We can't afford to do that. So all of our resources are going toward manufacturing guns. And let's send this division up here. This unit, we need a third army to be a uh, fifth army to be established in, well, in Hispania. Let's get these troops together, give them a commander, and there we are, General Makut Masud Ajam, whatever, and he's going to go to, we could maybe use him for garrison duty. Actually, let's do that. New commander. No, we need to go all in on the attack, but we need garrison troops also. Let's actually do this. Let's go to our infantry division template, duplicate it, just make a garrison division because we do need some garrison divisions to hopefully defend our ports and stuff. We had an we had an army dedicated to being our garrison force for quite a while, but due to how severe the war was going for us, it was not going well due to the tide of war. We had to start using them in battle more. So let's use this division for garrison duty, garrison division, and they're just going to be ten with troops. I would say, yeah, we'll do that. Ten with troops. No. Actually, yeah, do that. Leavened with whatever. And we'll use them for garrison duty. Make like four of those at once. Or have them in the queue indefinitely for like that. There we are. So let's move the army, third army now. Give them the color of yellow. Move them to, say, Cordoba. Just hold out there. And just hopefully reinforce them over time. And continue our push. And we have some research available. Research slot available. Let's go to our... Support companies get support equipment researched. And what's going on here? Never mind. And we have the, it looks like the second army will mostly be annihilated. Who's holding on there? Do last stand in Barcelona. Barcelona. And can we get more divisions moved over there, please? Just get them to, where are these guys even at? They're pushing, where are they at? They just need to get where they need to go, honestly. Just push, just gain some ground for us, please. Hold on to everything and push. Just gain ground. Be aggressive. The Yunnan click declared war in Tibet. Okay. Just have this army push here. And can we just drive back the enemy, hopefully? These guys are holding out in Barcelona. Very brutal fighting going on there. They're using that order. Where's the, where's the what? The forces here. Okay. Send them to, yeah, send them off to Barcelona to try and defend that area with the rest of the first army at this point. And someone surrendered. Yemen capitulated. I think they were defeated by the Ottomans, who defeated Egypt and Iran in a war for the desert. We got tons of troops here. Move them over. We got to get more guns made, I think. Yeah, get more guns manufactured. We need tons of tons of factories. We're still trying to push back the enemy here. It's only going so well, though. How's Barcelona faring? It's being attacked constantly. Just have them use last stand, like they have been doing, and keep pushing back the enemy. Try to take back Madrid. And it looks like we may possibly lose Toledo. I don't know. We're just trying to win some victories wherever we can get them. More divisions have been made. Send them to the 3rd Army. And we need more factories for guns. We need them so badly. And if we can get some garrison divisions 
just have them deployed down here and Casa the yeah have them in Casa no put them in Rio de Oro just so I can distinguish them from the other troops we have to play these guys in the Rift actually these infantry divisions just so they can move as rapidly as possible and just continue the offensive that will hopefully see us retake more of Spain and we're just making divisions so fast now I just hope we have enough guns to sustain all of this and use last stand here the it looks like the what is it the third army well the second army almost got completely completely annihilated if we get some divisions for infantry work we'll give them to the second army second army is going to get some divisions now keep pushing keep gaining some ground non-aggression packed offer whatever and these units are getting destroyed here they definitely are barcelona may fall i hope we don't capitulate instantly barcelona just falls over i really hope we don't we just need to get back more victory points we need to do that here's a garrison division here and just give them no commander for now they're just doing garrison duty anyway and just have them defend our ports in Morocco and whatever we still control in Spain. We need to defend our capital, Cadiz, well, places in Portugal, just ports in general. That's their goal. That's their, their objective, just defend these places. All they got to do, give them no commander and give them the color of, I don't know, blue. Doesn't really matter. Any more divisions ready? Infantry divisions, send them off to the, I guess, the first army who is an army who doesn't really have anything to do except push now. And how is the, that army doing? They're trying to do something productive. More, well, that's some Lindley's from Ukraine. They're gonna send us some rifles. Thank you, Ukraine. And the Reich's Pact is technically fighting the Third International, but they aren't really doing anything, which honestly is quite annoying considering we're doing all the fighting and dying here. Really, if we look at our losses, our casualties, you can see it's pretty high. Like, let's go down here, scroll all the way down. We have taken approximately 3.66 million casualties. We have tons of manpower, though. We have cores in every state in the world. Morocco is a little bit powerful in this path, the Rene Gunan path. The reason we are messing up so badly like we did, I didn't put enough production in the guns. And since we make divisions so fast at such a rate, it just gets hard to arm them constantly and have strength for our divisions in the field. Actually, I may start prioritizing those troops. Reinforcements, prioritize that. And now we'll have higher stuff for reinforcements now. And yeah, we'll just have the guns go to reinforcements first before we worry about the deployment queue. That would probably be a good idea, honestly. They need firearms constantly. We had a lot of our units get obliterated earlier on in this playthrough that were in like France and stuff, and we lost, we lost Barcelona. Oh well, so now we're going to completely focus on trying to push out the enemies in Spain using the front we have now. What does the war score for us look like? Not well, I imagine. Let me pause here just to see what that looks like. Yeah, we can't afford to lose anything else. We have 32% out of our victory points left, and we get if we get down to 20% or less, it's over for us. We're going to be gone from this war, so we can't afford to lose any more of Spain, so just keep pushing. The Third International is losing some ground, but we're making divisions so fast. We need more guns. We need more guns desperately, so let's get some of our factories here and start manufacturing more weapons. Hopefully, get some more guns here. Let's put those together. We'll start constructing some more military factories and try to take La Mancia that's been occupied or whatever. More divisions are ready. Send them off to the Third Army, who is pushing right now. We're trying to push hard in, say, the, what is it, the eastern part of Spain. There's some Lindleys from the Dutch East Indies. Thank you. Even though the Reich's Pact isn't really fighting the Third International too much right now. Okay, actually, I think they may be pushing. I don't know. They are sort of advancing now. But even if they aren't really seeming to fight them too much at this moment, I am thankful they are sending us some Lend-Lease, and that is helping us out greatly. And because of that Lend-Lease, we may be able to keep our divisions well-equipped for this conflict, which is going on a lot longer than I thought it would. But let's keep getting some divisions made here and get some more Lend-Lease from Belarus. German East Asia is going to provide us with some more rifles. Thank you, German East Asia. And we're still trying to push here. Is there a naval invasion landing here? What's the problem there? I don't know. Something's happening there, I believe. Some kind of landing took place. I'm not sure what occurred there. Like some kind of naval invasion, possibly. Doesn't really matter anymore. I think they've been destroyed. Yeah, good chance they're going to be destroyed. Any more divisions going to be deployed in the near future? Probably garrison troops, frankly. And we are pushing into this part of Spain. We're going to move into Valencia and eventually take that from the Third International, reclaim that territory. 
and we'll continue our push, hopefully. Let's just have the first army merge with the second army at this point. That's the only good thing they could really do at this time, because those divisions have been annihilated. That army, well, the first army got completely destroyed in the fighting with France. Not aggression packed offer from White Ruthenia. Ignore that. We don't need to do that, even though I am thankful they send us some more weapons. Let's take Mercia. Try to get that under our control. Keep pushing. Never stop pushing. And we're going to gain more ground here. We are fighting against the Socialist Republic of Italy at this point, who joined the conflict. And I do hope the Italian Federation tries to take them on, but I don't know if they will do that or not. And are we going to get any more garrison divisions put together? I have no clue. I don't think we will. We need more guns. It all, it all comes down to guns. It looks like, though, we will soon have a deficit that isn't over 100,000 firearms, I hope, because of that lend lease that is really helping us out here. And if we go to our logistics, you can see just how bad the gun situation has been. Like, like there's positive, then negative. Swing back in the negative, it's rough. But at least we are getting lend lease. That does make a difference in terms of, of keeping our troops at high strength. Send them more divisions. These are garrison troops, actually. Send them to the 4th Army. He does garrison work. And that's what they're going to do. Any more divisions made? No. Keep the push going, then. We are getting closer and closer to Madrid. We did lose Toledo, unfortunately. And that's not good, but it happens. Push here. Also, push here. It just gains some territory for us. Push this one militia division here, defending this single province. That's some troops, I think, from... France, the Landvia, which I'm pretty sure is a German name. I don't know why a French division has that. Formation of Central America that has occurred in Central America. All right, how is the Second American Civil War going? I'm going to say, I'm going to make a guess here and say the Pacific States of America will win that conflict. It looks like they're dominating the competition, although they are fighting the United Mexican States. So we'll see if the Pacific States of America will beat them. There's some more divisions. That's going to be standard infantry troops. They're going to go off to the second army there we are we are making gains i'm glad we have more rifles now more weapons being manufactured more divisions for the garrison army who needs to defend our ports at all costs so we don't get struck from behind and get flanked in some way and there's a some kind of landing there oh no well those are some enemy troops that are fighting our convoys that's not ideal how is our navy our air force doing they're not really they are looking okay good they're still sort of defending the western mediterranean and are they going to sink some ships, possibly? We lost a lot of convoys. The British Navy is just so irritating. They have so many divisions. Send these units off to the 3rd Army. Who I think may lose some troops in transit. I don't know. And we did push this port of Valencia. Pull that off. Take this port of Valencia, yes. The Russian National State declared war in Azerbaijan. That has happened. And let's actually change the orders up here. Because honestly, since we have this big unified front line, we might as well make this orderly as possible. Just redo the orders, move this division over, this army over to Army Group 1. That army is now part of that. So Rene Gunan's troops are going to now focus on pushing out of here and try to take the rest of Spain while Iberia back for the Esoteric Ground with True France. And maybe have some troops here in their own army that will focus on driving back this group in this part of Spain to the east near Valencia. Put one army there. And their goal is to just push and drive them into the sea, into the Mediterranean, by force. So have them focus there. That's going to go down. Push, please, everyone. And that order took a little bit to process, but there we go. It's begun. And our push is starting on a wide scale at this point. Well, it was already on a wide scale. We just had to make the orders look more prettier. I guess the battle lines had to look nicer. And we lost some convoys to so that huge Union of Britain fleet, which that has happened a lot in this conflict. It's whatever, though. More divisions, get them to the 1st Army, who's trying to drive out the enemy in this port area here. If we can just capture Valencia, that would benefit us greatly, because they would be deprived of a port. And they are going to lose a province there, those British troops are. Drive these troops out of Valencia, and they'll lose that. Actually go for that other area here. Push there, more divisions are made. Send them to the 1st Army. And once the 1st Army is done, they're going to focus back on trying to advance into the rest of Iberia with the other portions, the other members, well, the other units of Army Group 1. So we are making good progress in our counter-offensive that will see us try and retake Spain from the Third International. Our, our darkest hour, final days of Europa, that's some book event, I think. And with this, well, with things going well for us here, I'm going to end Part 10 
of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough at this time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there.